Hey guys and welcome back to the channel and on today's video I wanted to give a breakdown on a recent ranked game that I won. Now this is a plat lobby and I want to just say before we start the tips and things that I cover in this video will be good for bronze, silver, gold, plat and maybe early diamonds. Um, I, I don't, I can't speak for high diamond, I can't speak for apex predator. Um, I will say these tips can help you um, and they're for they're only for people in in bronze to plat. Please don't have any apex predators telling me that my tips are wrong because these aren't for apex predator lobbies. Uh, hot dropping wise, um, I like to pick areas that aren't too hot droppy. So for example, I'm not going to be dropping a barometer uh, unless I'm feeling really good that day. Now, uh, as you can see here, the 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 backup from my friends. I always said one of the biggest rank tips is to have a couple of homies, a couple of friends with you that you can um, you can rely on to finish off the kill there. So obviously, I had Hirsch and I had uh, Mitt Raven. Uh, also, aka Kenji, uh, coming in there with the you know with the save. Um, so right now we 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 knew there's only one team dropping here, so we're now good. We've taken out the one team. We can now relax and we can now kind of loot up as much as we uh, as, as much as we like. Um, in terms of guns, I like to run either an SMG and an assault rifle, or an assault rifle and a kind of mid-range um, triple take would be perfect. Um, charge rifles and um, longbows are good, but just I find them a little bit unforgiven. Um, so as you can see there, another team has rolled in. So I'm struggling to get on top of the roof. This happens. It happens to the best of us. Don't, you know. Um, so we have this one guy. Um, so we don't know where his teammates are. So that's why none of us are pushing. So we're sitting back and we're kind of just waiting for this guy to make a mistake. Um, but we don't know where the um, where his teammates are. So we, so we have another team coming over here. So we're kind of backed up right now. So you can see that we're all kind of stuck but we're not exactly pushing and overextending. So we're going to be sitting back and waiting for the enemies to kind of make a, you know, make a mistake. So there goes one. That was a solo player. So we know that that player is not, is not in a group or teamed up with the right hand side. So we now know that we can go over and loot, uh, loot this guy, see what he had, if he had anything at all. Um, we don't know. Obviously he didn't have any teammates. So we know that this is a completely different team. So we can push up and we can kind of loot up and I take forever to loot, just so you guys know, okay, I take forever to loot. It happens. It is what it is. Um, I, I really take a long time to loot. Um, so we've obviously got time now to really sit and decide what we're going to do next. We have the circle, um, so we haven't got to move too quickly, um, but we do know there is another team roughly around here. Um, obviously the drone also gives that away. Um, so we can see them in the far distance. We're going to be trading some shots back and forth. Um, it's, it's, so again, you, you can see that we're not exactly, um, pushing. We, we are cracking them. We're dealing damage, but we're not exactly pushing. So right now I'm going to make a completely different maneuver to the other building to get a little bit closer, but again, not overextending it so again you can see we're cracking them you know most people would probably push on that you know i always get random scream you know he's cracked he's cracked push um again we're not pushing that because we don't know where the other where the other teammate is there's obviously there's three of them we've got two of them where we know we're there but we're not sure where the third is so we don't want to exactly you know lose our position right here so we're gonna just stay put and just shoot as much as we you know can and damage them and get to a point I always like to just double check where the care packages are coming in because after I, you know, take out this uh, uh, this team, me personally, I'm going to want to navigate. But as you can see right now, we're going to leave and bounce because I'm very worried about third parties and I, I didn't really find a, uh, a time in that fight to, to kind of, you know, tell the team to, to move forward and, 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 and kind of execute. Um, so we thought it was our best interest just to kind of move away um, pick a different place because obviously there was a lot of gunfire people are going to be moving towards checkpoint which is the drop that we're at um so we're going to just move move uh move away and um find somewhere else to loot and then try and engage in a few more fights when we come across them one of the key things about uh you know winning those games is is finding a uh, like a gun duo that works well for you i'm not talking about finding that one gun i'm talking about finding those two guns that that just work well for you whether that's as i said an assault rifle or an smg um you, you basically just have to find two guns that you can use together to win those fights so you you don't want to be switching from a flatline to a charge rifle if you're a very aggressive player 
for example. So you're going to want to have, uh, a, you know, a shotgun or an SMG if you are switching from that assault rifle. But then again, at the same time, you're going to want, an, you know, a long range weapon like an assault rifle with a three times or like a kind of marksman weapon so that you can kill the people that are either running away or a little bit further that you can't obviously use a shotgun or, or SMG with. Um, one of my favorite things to do on this map um, especially when my Evo is looking really good. Obviously, right now we're looking at 554 damage to go. Um, I really enjoy hot dropping, looting up as much as possible, and then shooting the spiders, getting some nice attachments, but also um, leveling up my Evo. It's not a lot, but you never know. You know, most of the time, whenever I look at my shield, I always think that I'm always like 10 off or 20 off or 30 off. Um, or, yeah, you never know, after uh, after you clear a nest of spiders, you get down to 200 Evo shield. You can deal 200 damage to someone pretty easily. So you, you know the next fight you're going to have. Halfway through that fight, you're going to be... You're, you're, you're essentially going to have a red Evo shield. Oh, no. It's my so obviously, as I, as I just said there, I know that the Prowlers are right in front of us and obviously I'm, I'm looking really good on my Evo shield right now. I could probably kill those Prowlers and, and have enough damage to get to the red Evo. The problem is with Prowlers, they're a little bit harder to, uh, they're, a little bit, they're a little bit harder to kill than the Spiders, but they're also more in the open. So that, that part of the map just to my left now is horrible over there, is horrible. Um, to have a fight in because of the jump cannons, because of the water, the cliffs. There's a lot of stuff going on. It makes it very, very difficult. Um, so I tend to stay away from prowlers, and they're also a little bit more deadly, I find. Um, but you know, that's me. So I've noticed that there's people um, dying at Barometer. Obviously, with Ash is passive. Um, so I can assume that they've looted up here because they've got a care package. Um, they've got some nice loot. And they've probably headed over to Barometer and, and, and ninth party, whatever team was there. So we now have some people moving towards us. So um, I, I always I always throw out my arc snare the minute that the fight starts because you get it back in 22 seconds and you're most likely going to, you know, use that twice. Now, obviously, funny thing here, the Valkyrie, I think it is, no, goes off, stuck. but she's stuck to the Arc Snare. So we're able to get a good couple more shots off, um, almost killing her. But he one thing stuck, that does man. is that renders her out the fight for at least 10 seconds. So not only is, you know, she has to use, you know, the oh, um, the Phoenix Kit or Shield bats um, and med I, kits I, which could be longer at least yeah, 10 seconds she's out the fight and her teammates aren't going to really engage if more, she's more obviously damage. also out the fight um like so um, we know that we have a little bit of breathing time solo. um to kind of look and around and, make sure and, that we're not getting uh, you know pulled like, up on look, got, um but just kind of waiting and just seeing what's going on so we're getting now shot from behind um i was watching every angle apart from the angle that they came from it was kind of sod's law but i see the immediate escape uh, uh I, you know i tell my teammates you know we have to leave right now we have we have to get out of here we're in a very bad position so we're gonna we're gonna loop round now the the the, yeah, the problem with this was you have another team at barometer and I, and I we know, know the they just cleared up a, a squad so they're gonna have really good loot high you know since, evo shields we're still uh, running two blues and a purple um i'm not gonna kill these spiders because again no, the circle's a bit too small now when when i killed the spiders in the first round it's very you know the circle's still large so there's it's quite safe to do so. Now we've seen another one coming in. Um, again, the arc snare goes out. You see, I'm very consistent. Um, I do miss and it goes straight past, but it's okay. Um, we now do a lot of damage to this guy. Now, obviously, killing them would be great, but uh, I'm not. I'm not. You know, I'm not unhappy with that result. I was able to get a lot of damage on my Evo shield. I've also sent them back over into the circle as well, so they're going to be panicking a bit trying to get over. Um, and we have a very nice spot right now. We can go right. We can go left. Um, we're, we're in a very good good position right now, but I believe that we saw fight. Yeah, so we saw fighting up here. So now we know there's a team that are really struggling over here. And from what I remember, they're in the circle for quite a long time. Again, so we're not exactly running in, charging in. Um, I see a lot of people when I watch streams or I watch videos, people will do some damage and then be like, you know what, like, screw it, let's just do it. You know, like, like let's run it up. Let's, you know, let's, uh, you know, do it for fun, do it for the content. 
But if you're trying to grind, um, and, and it is a lot of waiting around, and it's just, it's not not as fun I, I as know, you know unranked know, know, where you can just run in. Like I, if I was playing unranked right now, I would be running straight in there and just throwing heat shields down and just trying to have some fun. Um, but obviously we are trying to win. Uh, we're trying to you know win some games. Uh, obviously right now I've got four kills. Um, so I'm looking really good in terms of RP. I um, I kind of want to focus on on placement. Oh, so I always say like, when you get about three kills, yeah, four kills, um, you want to be focusing on placement as much as kills. So you want to be kind of only taking fights that you know you can take, but definitely keeping the long to mid range and using the um, kind of uh, using the snipers, using the triple takes to get your uh, Evo up and to obviously keep the damage going. Now, one thing that I think you need to do in Apex is. Um, Sorry, really keep fun. the adrenaline going. You want to always be fighting, but never overextending. So you don't want to be co constantly, constantly pushing fights. Um, but you need to be, you know, still up and about and and alert. Because if you just, you know, sit in a corner to the end circle, the other team, if you have the same amount of armor, same amount of guns, the same, you know, skill level. If you've been sitting in a corner for however long, and then you try and do a fight, you're going to be very rusty. Oh, she's running. She's way over there. So as you can see here, we've um, you know we've taken taken one team out. We can see the other guy running. Um, I think I kill him. Yeah, so he's dead. Um, we don't really have time to loot him, but we can loot the guy that's nearest the circle because it's only on the inner circle and it's still um, what is it ring two or three? So I the damage isn't too strong. Um, in terms of inventory, I always like to carry four syringes, four shield cells. Two stacks of shield bats and then armor uh, and then ammo and grenades. Um, depending on the team, uh, I might have a med kit. If we have, say, a lifeline, um, I'll probably won't have a med kit. Um, but that's normally what my my kind of uh, armor inventory looks like. So now we're gravitating uh, towards the circle. There's a care package. I love going for a care package. I'm not going to lie. I, I, I feel like in platinum and above, people are very scared to go for care packages. I've only ever got to diamond, so I don't, I can't speak for Apex Predators, but when I was in, you know, bronze, silver, gold, not many people go for, uh, no, loads of people go for care packages, but in the plat range to diamond, no one really goes in the care packages, um, which, which is great for me because I love going into them. Now you can see there are people dying on the other side of this rock. So we know that we can get to this care package and loot up before the other team is finished shielding and whatnot. Um, now, I knew I wasn't going to need the triple take this time round um, because it's a very we close circle, as you can see here, and uh, um, there's a lot of buildings, a lot of cover. So um, I opt, I yeah, opted yeah. to keep the flat line over, over the alternator. I think there's oh, one opportunity the where the triple take would have been better, so but the opportunity of having a flat line and an alternator completely, um, you know, oh, out, out shines the cons um the alternate is the best gun in the game by the way guys i if you get i don't think i've lost the game i've had an alternate in my hands just want to put that out there um that's not a humble brag i lose all my games but any game with the alternator i think i pretty much win that um now we don't want to move again see this is another another example of us being smart about it now most people would push that you know we, there's two teams dead We've only oh, seen two of them. We don't know where the third one is, so that could be only a team of two, um, which means you're, you're more likely to push. Um, we They are still fighting. There's still a fight going on, but we're not pushing that. We could easily push in and maybe win the fight, but we could easily as well push in and lose the fight. So you don't really want to be risking that too much. Um, so we're going to kind of, you know, take it nice and chill. Um, I wanted a mark to see how many are alive. Now, we know that there's only one attacker left. Now, I'm going to pick up all of the shield bats, as you really can't go wrong with them. Um, I'm also going to call down a mobile respawn beacon. Now, you can see the circle is in this building. So if I call down that mobile respawn beacon, we might be able to get something cheeky, you know, a cheeky revive off. You never know. Um, so I've picked up the heat shield. So we haven't. So technically, what I've done there is I've got heat shields and a mobile spawn uh, mobile spawn beacon. Um, so I've done, you know, two two birds with one stone. And, and hey, maybe we'll use that, you know, in a few minutes, depending on how how the fight goes. Now, one thing I like to do is always, always, in these final circles, obviously there's four squads left. We know where two of them are. We are one of them. The other team is the other team. So there's two teams unaccounted for. So in this fight, I'm going to be laying down damage um, left and right, as you can see. But I'm going to be looking around. I'm going to be kind of, you know, seeing what's going on. You can normally assume that if you haven't been third-partied within, like, a minute of being there in this in a zone this small you can pretty much assume that they're going to be rats they're going to be solo players 
Um, so with that being said, um, I'm, we're going to stay here, you know, and just deal damage. Um, they've tried to loop round to the right hand side and, <coughs> you know, take take some take some shots. But I'm going to heal. But what I'm going to do is whilst I'm healing. I'm going to be looking around. I'm going to be scouring around the map, trying to see where these other these other teams are. You know, as I said, we can pretty much safely assume that they're going to be a rat, but we do get run up on. So the team's behind us now. Um, so we're going to completely rotate around. Now, um, my fellow steed, Mitt, uh, Mitt Raven, um, was able to take down two of them. And then, but unfortunately, Hirsch did die. And then he alerted me that they're rezzing. Boom, dead. Two people dead. So what happens is I pick up my uh, good friend Mirage, my oh, good shit. friend Mitt uh, Mit Raven, oh, just and um, oh, I immediately heal, um, heal up. If I was smart then, um, I know oh, I wouldn't have actually, I was going to say I would have dropped my Evo, but that was also damaged. So um, what Mitt Raven's going to do is, is immediately run over to that mobile uh, uh, respawn beacon that I put down. Now, um, there is one right next to it, but you know, there's two now. Um, so we, we can now revive two people should we need to do so. So now immediately, Hirsch is right back in the fight. And it's now just us and them. We know that they can't push us because we have the higher ground. And they're in a very bad position. But the res means that one of them does. Now, this person has stepped out of line. They've completely, completely just um, ruined the game for them right there. So, yes, if a team is resing, it's probably wise to pick, you know, um, to, to, to push. But you've got to be very careful. Now, um, if you're pushing whilst we're resing, that's one thing. But if you're pushing as, we've, as we, uh, we have uh, revived, we've already got our guns back out. We're already waiting. Now, Kenji has alerted me that the guys are on here. So I dive up here and I think I go down. I'm not going to lie. I think I, 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 think I mess it up. So the, the, the Raven's obviously circling around. We have to push this way because of the ring. But we're going all the way back to where we started. And again, you could say we could have waited on that on that, on that that hill. Uh, but again, I, I know she's around here. So I'm going to push around here and then um, try and help out. I, yeah, I think I, I miss all my shots. Um, and then um, I think I do some damage and then I die. But my homies that I mentioned before that are very... Um, very good, and uh, I rely on. We're able to pick up the, the kill and the um, the race and win. Um, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, this is a little bit different for me, but I love helping. Now, the point of this video, guys, as I, as I said at the beginning, um, you have to remember that I'm not giving you tips to become an apex predator. If you are, if you are plat, if you're diamond, if you're not, if you're diamond, maybe, but if if you're one silver, gold, or plat, which I kind of group up as a four. These tips will all help you. There's no point listening to Apex Predators because they're playing against other Apex Predators. So, for example, in in bronze, you can push any fight you want and win. In Apex Predator, you can't really, depending on your skill set. So, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, please let me know in the comments what, of what you thought, whether you'd like to see more of this. Um, but until then, I hope you have a great week and I'll see you later.